What's new at Charlie's? What's new at Charlie's? Still on Main. What's new at Charlie's? Tell me what's new at Charlie's? Still on Main. Hi, welcome back to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, uh, you all know my good friend, Mr. Don Williams of Bourbon Full. Don, how are you today? I'm good, Charlie. How are you? Good. We're going back to visit old friends today, man. We are. We're going to uh, th this year's edition of the limited edition Yellowstone's out. Just came in here, Charlie. So this week. From so, our, our good friends at Limestone Branch. Good friends at Limestone ba Branch. So uh, always have treated us extremely well and have always been very happy with everything we've had from there. Um, is this our, I feel like this is like our third have we been doing this is that long? I believe this is our third limestone branch product. I'm pretty sure. Wait, yeah, wow. But time uh, flies. Yeah, but you know, you know what's different about this one than the other ones is you had my a hair chance, wasn't as gray. You had a chance to meet Stephen Beam. I did. I just met Steve Beam. I went to a liquor show. I never go to those things because they're always boring. And I pull up, and there's this amazing tour bus out front, and I walk in, and I said to the first guy I met. Who's tour boss? And they're like, well, that's Steve Beans. I go, is he here? He is. He was there. I got to meet him. He was a cool, super cool guy. So every time we've been to the distillery, Steve's out driving around the tour bus. Now I know why he's never there. <laughs> if I had that tour bus, I would never leave. So, yeah. But, but we're always entertained by Stephen Fonte. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Steve Fonte is, is the man. We've talked about that many times. Um, a great friend, a great whiskey ambassador. A great bourbon guy. And a character. Yeah, and a character. Yeah. And Louie. Don't forget Louie. And Louie. Louie, yeah. So Steve keeps promising to come up here. So I keep thinking if I mention it enough in the videos, he'll actually do it. So, but, you know, we're waiting for you, man. We're waiting for you. Either, either Steve's. We don't care. Well, both Steve's would be great. That's right. Yeah. That's I mean, right. so Steve Fonte, see if you can get on that bus and come on up. So, yeah. Huh. Can you like splice in a picture of the bus? Like I'll send it to you in I'm, the video. I, Maybe we'll do that. I might be able to we do that. We might do that. So anyway, um, so this is every year they come out with a limited edition. It's been going on since I think I had, I've had them for at least since like 15. So I don't know when it started, but yeah, it's, it's been five, a while. Five or six, five or six editions. Yeah. And they changed the bottle about three editions ago. I think it used to be in a round tube and now, now they come like this. So, and every year they're different. They do something off the wall, something a little crazy. So what have they done this year, Don? Well, first of all, it's a blend of 15, 16, and seven-year-old bourbons. Okay, all to right. To start with. Uh-huh. And then they're finished in Marcella Superior casks. Okay. Um, and that's a dry, sweet wine from uh, Italy. Okay, all right. And uh, Stephen Beam, when I read his, his take on this, he really liked the essence of using those casks yeah. and the results he was getting and that's what they chose so um it's really uh they do a lot of really interesting things there uh i've been a fan i've been a fan of limestone branch before they had bourbon for sale wow yeah you know? um and I, i'll never forget and i'm going to just go off a little bit here it's usually my job but go ahead but i remember stephen fonte saying to me that uh to try the minor case whiskey rye because that was going to be something that was going to really be a flagship for their distillery and it became that oh yeah and it still is one of my favorites oh it's fantastic um and I got that, you know, here. I got that. You can come try that if you haven't tried it. Yeah, and uh, it's it's one of my favorites. Uh, but, again, uh, for those of you who don't know, Stephen Beam and his brother Paul, they are not only descendants of the famous Beam family, but they're descendants of the Dant family also. So whiskey and bourbon runs through their family tree. like Whiskey and bourbon royalty there. Yes. yes absolutely, yes. 100%. And uh, we, you know, good people there, good whiskey. Uh, they've been doing a lot of... Couldn't have been a nicer guy, dude. Yeah. 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 And uh, that's what, what put them on the map. And, you know, now they're part of a bigger organization, but you still get that down-home 
friendly feeling when you go there. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a great stop on the tour if you're down that way. If you're cruising around, was that down in Lebanon, if I remember right? Yeah, Lebanon, just down the road from Independence State. Yeah, there you go. That, that would be a great afternoon to spend with those guys. Oh, uh, they got a, had a bar there, had some, uh, had some, they had a nice gin. They got some nice bourbons. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, birch, uh, I can't remember the gin that. Uh, Stephen, I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, uh, Dowling and Birch, right, or something? Yes, yeah, something yeah. close yeah. to that. Really yeah. good gin. Yeah, but they'll make you some great cocktails there. Uh, I guarantee you. Yeah, uh, it's really a good place to stop by absolutely so let's crack this baby open see what we got this year so I have been a fan of these since they first came out Really subtle, very subtle. Um, first of all, extremely smooth whiskey. Oh yeah, really smooth. Just a great whiskey. It's, um, and you know, it, I smell the. I almost feel like I smell it more than I taste the wine. So, right, right. Yeah, it, it's kind of on the nose, mm -hmm. but the palate is very subtle. It's it's very very friendly whiskey. Oh my God, it's fantastic. And yeah. floral notes, uh, a little bit of fruit notes, you know, coming from yeah. the wine. Yeah. Um, and not real heavy on, it's not sweet and syrupy. It, it's actually almost more. You get like a vanilla. Yeah. Like it, a little it, vanilla it, to it, which which could be just the whiskey, the barrel, or, or the wine imparting that. But, yeah. Um, so wow. I didn't know what to expect with this. Like, I didn't know what to saw it was. So, I, you know, like, I'm thinking it might scare some people off from trying it. But this is just a fantastic whiskey, dude. Yeah. Just, if, it, if, it, if it just said Yellowstone whiskey, I, I would, yeah. Right. So, you know, the wine is known as a dry, sweet wine, and that's kind of what comes through yeah um but i will tell you first and foremost this is a great whiskey and it has some subtle additional notes yeah from the secondary uh maturation and uh it it's really good and when they put something out like this they know this, what they're putting out this might be one of my favorites they've ever done this it, is phenomenal it, it's really really yeah. good yeah um, and uh, I will tell you folks. So unfortunately, this won't be for sale at Charlie's still on me. <laughs> no, it'll be here. It'll be here. Um, but yes, that's really good. I, I really like the bottle. Yeah. It's really a good looking, elegant bottle. Yeah. Uh, but the juice they put in it is really spectacular. Top notch, man. Top notch. So uh, knocked it out of the park with this one, man. Uh, man, we have been on a roll with some really great whiskey. We really you have. Know? And. Uh, we're fortunate, and I'm fortunate that you include me in this. So I'm, I'm fortunate you show up and bring the camera and the lights and the sound system and all the notes and do all the research. Well, you know, there's thank you. There's thank you. you know, things you will do for Yellowstone bourbon. There you go. You know, I don't blame I, you. Yes, I would too. I would have done all that too if it wasn't if it wasn't my bourbon. If it was yours. So this is fantastic, though, guys. Stop up. Check this one out. Stop down there and check out the uh, Limestone Branch uh, family. Great people. Uh, great whiskey. Uh, I don't know what else to say. And uh, Other than come on back up to Michigan and uh, let's, let, let's, let's have some fun. Let's do a dinner. For those of you who have never been to Limestone Branch, take the time. Go down there. Try to do a tour at Independent Stave. See the barrels being made. Spend some time at Limestone Branch. Have a cocktail. You'll enjoy it yourself. It's really a pleasure to go there. And tell them Charlie and Don sent you. That should get you something. Maybe. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys.
What's new in Charlie's still on Main? What's new in Charlie's? Tell me what's new in Charlie's?